Welcome everybody to a first look at Aratus Lord of the Dead. This is a tactical RPG that is in or is on Kickstarter at the time of this recording. It has a few days left and the developers were kind enough to give me a key to check out. But the basic premise is that this is Darkest Dungeon played by the bad guys. We're replacing Lovecraftian horror with necromancing undead raising. And while it does have some pretty good ideas, it's a bit rough around the edges from what I've seen so far. But we're going to show off what's available right now. Please keep in mind this is an alpha build. So the game does pass its Kickstarter or they continue to develop it. What you see may not represent the current version. Now it started out with easy mode on, but I did beat that. So we're going to go to normal and see how challenging it is. And again, the Kickstarter for Raz is still going on as of right now. Alright, so here's our lovely friend here, and he's trying to take over the world. So, let's go over what we got so far. We have various minions that we can create. They each are basically set classes with their own abilities, stats, and of course a little bit of information there. Now the idea is that we're going to be creating these enemies based on finding various items. And then if we have them, we can then craft. So. If we look over here, we can see the stats of the enemies, including how much damage they do, stress damage, yes, they do have that in this game, accuracy, luck, armor, and all that. There we go. Now, I think there was a bit of a bug here, because it wasn't letting me click on this. Oh no, my mistake. Now, each class has also special features as well. So our skill in here is immune to any buffs or debuffs. There's our zombie. Now, the Banshee I haven't actually used yet. percent No. <laughs> Let's see, we have a mummy. And of course, like with the Darkest Dungeon, part of this game is going to be about figuring out the best combinations. Now over here we have Magic, or Mana, and Souls. Souls are kind of your super resource. You to activate each character's special power, like right here. Hmm. Now... One of the things that we're going to see once we start playing is that several powers have unique trap synergies. <laughs> kind of looks like the guy from, let's see, our bounty hunter there. Hmm. That could work. Let's see, does he do any real stress damage? No, I'm gonna craft him. Despite a lack of eyes, they know to aim for the neck. <laughs> Once a character has been created, you can actually assign additional items that you find into their equipment slots, similar to the trinkets. Now, if you look down here, we can only have a max of four people per party. So I'm going to move him over here. And again, one thing about the UI, we would have liked it to show exactly what positions he's best as, like as an overall. Let's see. Doesn't she have a trap? Here it is. The stance is kind of operate as traps. So if the enemy does X, 
the R character will do Y. But let's get out of here. Here's kind of our skill tree. So let's see. I want to upgrade so that. My dark powers return to me. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's go there. This will do nicely. And you can see as we upgrade more stuff. So it's at the top here. And we'll leave it alone for right now. Again, that's our inventory. This is going to be where we go to battle. And this is Aras himself who will take trinkets that will enhance his abilities or let him buff his troops during combat. And then last but not least is the transmutation which we'll be able to use once we upgrade to create better parts. The last guy we didn't look at was the Shade. And if you run out of characters and the ability to create them, then it's basically game over. Right. Oh boy. This was a hell of a lot smaller when I last played it on easy mode so curious to see what they do for hard but the idea of course is we're going to go through each biome or area here and hopefully survive but here's our kind of campaign map battles are on it don't know what's in the ancient coffins yet but I'm assuming graves give us more parts and our ultimate goal of course is to get to the exit we're not going to be getting all the way through that in this play, folks. I can tell you that right now. Let's see. Well, I'm going to go. Let's see what we can do here. Now, from what this uh, beta or this alpha version is showing me, there isn't a meta or a persistent layer in terms of a hamlet. Alright. So yeah, it looks very darkest dungeon-y, I know. We have our turn order up here. Characters and spells. Let's see. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to activate her stance. So now whenever an enemy gets moved, we'll do damage to them. Alright, let's move him back. And then she automatically attacks. So this time we will do a stress hit on an enemy. Oh, and it missed. Let's see, come on, hit him. Wow. Oh well, this is Darkest Dungeon -y right here, isn't it, folks? Alright, he's defending. Every time they move, she's just going to keep attacking. Now the stance is over. Let's see. We'll lay him on fire. Now they have armor down here, or block, so I have to be careful about that. He's already in the front row, so I'm curious if this will move him or not. Cleave them. There we go. 
He took some stress damage. This will work. Get over here. Hey. My hordes are without number. That's not good. And it's kind of hard to look at what these enemies are doing. Let's see. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something in death. Let's see. We like to get some stress damage going. That didn't do so. That did so little damage to him. Looks like he has armor right here. But again, it would be nice to show that information on the UI. Let's see. So I guess I have to move into it. She's right in the back row. So watch, if I hit him while he has a block, it just automatically nullifies all damage. Unless the attack specifically colors it. Attacks a hit. He just keeps doing that. That should kill. Good, good. More materials. Ooh, I didn't <laughs> think it would be this easy. Let's see, we just break down these shields. Yes. That should knock out his little shield this there. Oh, never mind. Bowels just as it died. Oh, come on. Again, the game doesn't really do a good job, I think, of showing where these guys can and can't attack. Oh, you know a 
this keeps happily done purging the world ahead of schedule. Apparently <laughs> survived, but our units got hurt in the process. So I can create more. I do like this headhunter. And we got another point here. Now I can actually craft better stuff. But we should probably craft some more people, right? And then this, because it's uncommon, will give that character a bonus. So do we have anyone who should be in the front row? Hmm. I guess we'll put him there. I need two more people to replace. He do his stuff from position three. Let's see. Do, do, do. The mummy. Let's go for it. I like to keep the embalmed organs as uh, souvenirs. And you can see because he has this uncommon, that's going to kind of give him additional boost. Right. And back here. I'll be able to use his grape shot, hopefully, to knock out those shields very quickly. take a chance here and see what happens. Mm -mm -mm. Pick your poison, I suppose. And if you use magic, it will uh, eat up your turn. I don't know what the accuracy to hit chance is. Right, they've been buffed. Well, that's a good sign. Oh my god. What kind of damage is that they're doing? Alright. Let's see if we can do a stress damage. Nice. If an enemy's stress hits zero, they can die of a heart attack. So let's see. Good. Any means of moving here? They have 
no armor. Save nice his last few heartbeats. Let's see. Let's see. Let's get over here. Jeez, I think those guys need to be a little nerf here. Let's see, huh? let's see if we can weaken him. Alright. Luckily that didn't do anything. Oh, come on. get some overwatch shots happening here let's move him up I don't think these difficulties are balanced right now, because that is way too much damage for what we're dealing with. I'd like to try and get someone down to a critical stress. Let's see what happens. I am here to harvest. She doesn't have any stress attacks. Oh, she does. Nice shot, sweetie. Kill, my darling. Kill! Oh, oh come on. Really? So when their stress hits zero, or their sanity, they now have a chance of having a heart attack. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, pathetic. Let's see. Your frail bodies fail you. Okay, they've been debuffed again. Let's see. One Goodbye. by one, life vanishes from this world. Come on, we gotta make them go insane. You will soon embrace your new existence. He still has... Eh, he's lost his armor, that's good. Brave are an excellent source of fresh Oh, and he ran. Okay, now here are some higher quality materials. And these are even higher. Just twenty percent. Hmm. And you can see our little skeleton friend did heal after surviving. Or for just resting. And the campaign basically lasts again until we get all the way. Come on. Right there. Now it looks like level 
is determined by what gear. Uh, there you go, quality of parts. And that's what... Let me bring up the upgrade again. Where was it? Uh, here we go. Uh, this crab allows you to replace a minion. Yep. And so my so what I can do... Return to me. Is let's say I really like this guy. And I want to make him last longer. Well, I could... Where is it? Right, he doesn't have any armor. Let's see. Who has some... Here we go. Perfect. You can put that on, and thereby turn him into a level 3. Ooh. But I think it actually overrid it. So better pay attention to that one, folks. I didn't see any difference, though, between level 1 and a level 3, though. And again, we can craft new stuff. And these items up here... Again, we can craft different versions. Now we come... Let's see... Where's my other crafting ability? Transmutation. Radius. We didn't get any of that. So definitely on the challenging side. And you can see we need to build up our army. Now it looks like there are more characters. But I, again, I don't think that really does anything. Hmm. Enemy moves. But yeah, I don't have the ability to create any more guys, so I think we're in trouble. But I think we'll wrap up this first look here. So I do like what I'm seeing with Aranis, but. It definitely, I think, needs to do some balancing and some a general quality of life pass in terms of its UI. Because it could do a better job of showing information, like, how much damage am I actually going to do to a guy? What's the actual two-hit chance? And I think what may hurt the game is that it does lack a little bit in terms of persistence. Yes, yeah, so we're keeping our units, but there's not much else we're doing decision-wise outside of combat. And it looks like the whole game is going to be focused on essentially this kind of quote-unquote dungeon crawling. And also, if you notice, once we choose a path, that locks us in. So it's not a case of, let's say, we need to go back and maybe get more parts or do something else. Once we go forward, there's no turning back. So I'm curious to see if they will hit their goal and how the game will develop going forward. Ah, here we go. So these are the additional ones. Mm -hmm. But we'll see how they do with balancing. But anyway, that's going to do it for this first look. So if you're interested in Aratus, it is currently on Kickstarter, and I believe you can pick it up in early access or some form on Steam or something else, although I'm not 100% sure on that one right now. I'd like to thank the developers for giving me a press key to check out, and come back here for daily discussions on game design and on game wisdom, where we are in science of games, and if you let me tickle your game in the future, please don't hesitate to get in touch. But once again, this has been Aratus, Lord of the Dead, and I will see you guys next time. Before we get to the credits, just want to give a quick shout out to the fans and supporters over on patreon.com slash GWBicer. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check back around 10 Eastern for regular streaming. If you like suggest games for me to cover or topics to talk about, let me know in the comments below. For a collection of my writings as well as weekly podcasts on design, check out game-wisdom.com. To support the Game Wisdom Patreon, you can find us on there on patreon.com slash gwbicer. A dollar will get you into our private Discord channel where we talk game topics and more. Five dollars will get you voting privileges for any major event, including the Saturday Night Grab Bag, Patreon-funded goals, and more. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoy more videos here on the Game Wisdom YouTube channel.